Yeah. Audience wrap, okay. Hollywood junket out here on Hollywood Boulevard, uh, just in time for the Oscars, which will take effect come tomorrow. As you can see right over there, the questions that they ask are a real controversial questions. That's what makes it such a good show. Some of the questions that they ask, particularly one, have you ever been faithful to your spouse, your boyfriend, or your girlfriend? Either you answer dishonest, you keep your mate, or you answer honestly, and you keep the money. Not anticipating the questions that they were going to be asked, they had to answer truthfully. And I felt kind of sorry for them as well as a lot of the audience members because the, there was this one particular lady, she was asked, if you had a choice to marry your ex knowing what you know about your husband now would you and of course she said yes i would have preferred to marry my ex and her husband was right there another contestant you know was asked uh, have you ever stolen from the family business of which you know he declined to answer but by declining that also means that you're incriminating yourself one of the contestants he had his ex-girlfriend there, which they recently broke up. One of the questions that he was asked was, have you ever cheated on your girlfriend? One of the previous questions was asked was, would you like to get back together again with your girlfriend? Of which he stated yes, and it was true. However, the question that was asked was, have you ever cheated on your girlfriend? And he answered yes. And she started crying, and we had to stop the show. The show was stopped. Uh, she had to be consoled. She kind of left the stage, uh, was taken, and the show was kind of resumed after about a half an hour. But fortunately, what he did was that he didn't go any further when answering any more questions. So <laughs> has to just kind of stop all the drama where it, had, where it had left off at. The way the show works is that each time you answer a question, the questions get more and more difficult, and they get more and more personal. One of the other contestants was, he was an electrician, and he was also an investor. One of the questions came up, <laughs> have you ever stolen any money from your wife and invested in your personal investments? And the answer was yes. His wife didn't know anything about that. She was very upset. They had asked how much money had he stolen, and it was like over $50,000 but one of the questions that kind of stomped him was, do you respect your wife? And he said yes, but the answer was really no. One of the things I remember seeing afterwards, he was totally baffled how or why he lost, and he had to actually, you know, talk and converse with the, uh, with the people that regulate the game. He was actually, he was very adamant that, you know, he shouldn't have lost, he talked back and forth with them. He was a little upset. All of this, of course, was off camera, behind the scenes. But he was very frustrated. And after that, they said, well, hey, break for lunch. This one lady, she was probably the highest contestant. A drunk driver hit her son, ran over her son, got out the car, wiped the bumper off, and drove away. Her son had to go through a lot of therapy. He's living a very healthy life. And he was actually uh, one of the family members that was supporting his mom as a contestant on the show. The show, they, they researched and found out the guy who actually hit her son. And he came there, and it was a real teary, teary-eyed moment. He apologized to hitting the son. His side of the story was, he says was that, hey, I was never really drunk. I swerved out the way, and yes, I did hit your son, but I didn't run over your son. And one of the questions that she was asked prior for him coming out there was, do you think you can ever forgive the man who ran over your son? And she, her answer was no, and she was answering truthfully. But when he came out, he expressed his sympathy and an apology for running over the sun. Uh, and he said that the reason why he came on the show was because he really wanted to see 
how well the son was doing because it had bothered him all these years. It was a real unique situation that it was like it just kind of, they had to once again stop the show. Everybody had to kind of dry their eyes, you know, and uh, it was something that caught everybody totally off guard, you know, about the show. The studio audience really loved the show. Uh, uh, hands down, everybody. I talked to as many people as I could. Most people really enjoyed the show. This is Steve the E. Ross for Hollywood Junkin. That's an audience wrap.